In ActiveHDL, individual designs along with their resources can be grouped together as a workspace. Within a workspace, the user can add and manage multiple designs. To create a new workspace, go to the File menu, click on New, and select Workspace. The new workspace wizard will appear. Type the name of your workspace. Make sure the Add New Design to Workspace option is checked and click OK. In the new design wizard, select Create an Empty Design and click Next. We don't need to worry about specifying any settings on the property page, so click Next. Type the name of your design and click Next. In the last window, click Finish. In your design browser, you will see your newly created workspace as well as your new design. You can add an existing design by right-clicking on Workspace and selecting Add Existing Design to Workspace. Select the appropriate ADF design file and click Open. You can see the added design in your design browser. You can add another design by using the previous process. To the design that we created, we can add new files by double-clicking on Add New File. You can create files from scratch under the Empty Files tab, or you can choose the Wizards tab and create files using a step-by-step -step process. Under the Wizards tab, select VHDL Source Code and click OK. The new Source File Wizard will appear. Make sure the Add the Generated File to the Design option is checked and click Next. Type the name of your source file and click Next. Define any necessary ports and click Finish. You can observe your new file in the Design Browser. In the HDL Editor window, you can view the contents of your source file. You can add more files to your design by using the previous process. To compile all the files within your design, right-click on your design and select Compile All. In the console window, you can observe the status of the compilation. You can change the design compilation order by right-clicking the design and select Design Compilation Order. Uncheck the Synchronize box and change the order of your design files. Changes in the window will not be reflected in the design browser. To add or modify the content of another design within the workspace, Set the design as active by right-clicking the design and selecting Set as Active Design. If you want to remove a design from the workspace, right-click the design and select Remove from Workspace. You can change the compilation order of the designs within the workspace by right-clicking on Workspace and selecting Workspace Compilation Order. To change the order of the designs, click and drag to the desired position. You can generate a macro file for the entire workspace by clicking on Generate Macro. Type in the name and select Generate. In the pop-up window, click Yes. Click OK when you're finished. If you double-click on the macro file, you will be able to see all of the compilation commands necessary for the designs within the workspace. You can also generate a macro file by right-clicking on Workspace and select Generate Compilation Order Macro. You can archive the workspace by going to the Workspace menu and selecting Archive Workspace. In the pop-up window, Point to the location in which you would like to save your archived workspace and click Next. Select the files in which you would like to archive and click Next. Wait until it is finished and close the window. If you would like to export your workspace, there are two options. Under the File menu, you can export workspace to HTML or export your workspace to PDF. Thank you for watching our presentation.